Hi guys, it's an exciting Saturday night here in the collapse of global industrial civilization here on Saturday night, August 29th, 2020. So uh, before I head over to the Twilight Zone on Netflix, uh, I just want to thank Alert Tribes member KB for sending me uh, this video clip from this nuclear physicist at MIT, uh, Ian Hutchinson. Uh, if I ever get back to uh, interviewing people, we will try to get Ian on the show. But this is, I'll put the link on here. This will take you to an eight and a half minute video, which in turn you can link to the full interview with this fellow Ian Hutchinson. He is being interviewed by a fellow I'd never heard of before, this young man named Lex Fridman. Lex Fridman. So uh, Lex is basically asking Ian uh, what he thinks about the balance of the 21st century, and this is Ian Hutchinson's response. I am certainly not confident that my children and grandchildren will experience the benefits of civilization that I have enjoyed. I think it's possible for our civilizations to break down catastrophically. Um, I also think that it's possible for our civilizations to break down progressively. And I think they will if we continue to have the explosion of population on the planet that we Thank currently you. have. I mean, it's, it's, quite, it's quite wrong to think of our problems as mostly being CO2. If we can just solve CO2, then we can go on having this, you know, continually expanding economy everywhere in the world. Of course you can't do that, okay? I mean, there is a finite, you know, bearing capacity of our planet. On the resources of our planet. On yeah. the resources of our planet. And, and we can't continue to do that. So... I think there are lots of technical reasons why um, a continually expanding economy and, and, uh, and civilization is impossible. And that therefore, um, actually I'm as much nervous about the fact that our population is 8 billion or something uh, right now worldwide as I am about um, the fact that you know, a few million people would be, ki would be killed by COVID-19. Thank I mean, you. I don't, want to be <laughs> callous about this, be but from the big about picture, it. it seems like that's much more of a problem. Overpopulation, people not dying is ultimately more of a problem uh, than people dying. Thank um, you. So, you know, that probably sounds incredibly callous to your, to your listeners, but I think it's simply, you know, a sober assessment of the, of the situation. Is there... That is exactly what it is. It is a sober assessment of the situation. Uh, we need a lot more people dying. What we need is a lot fewer people being born. You know, this is just... Uh, well, one more example, you know, this fellow has children and grandchildren. I'm assuming he did not figure it out tell that the damage had been done, but uh, anyway, one more person, uh, one more breeder talking about uh, overpopulation killing the planet. Anyway, uh, I highly suggest you uh, follow this link and go hear the rest of the interview, and maybe we will have Ian Hutchinson on the show once this distraction blows over. I'm off to the twilight zone. Bye, guys.